Why did I buy Cock Inu? In today's video, I'm going to be explaining the reasons why. And a major reason why I even decided to buy Cock Inu in the first place is because I think it's a very special meme coin. Cock Inu is the community coin of the Chad chain. And it's even powered by Avalanche, which in my opinion is arguably one of the best layer one blockchains out there. Avalanche currently has been able to facilitate over a billion transactions, which I think is insane. And it's highly decentralized, it's highly scalable, it's fast, and it's secure as well. And let's not forget, Avalanche has an amazing DeFi ecosystem. As a matter of fact, its total value locked on DeFi is so high to the point that it's currently ranked number 9 in the world, beating out giants such as Bitcoin, Cardano, Kronos, and many others, which I find very impressive. And let's not forget, Kok Inu is also even listed in 10 major exchanges already, both centralized and decentralized, which I think is fantastic. You know, a lot of meme coins out there, they struggle to even get in five exchanges. So the fact that Kok Inu, despite its relatively young age, has already been listed in 10 exchanges, I think that's very impressive. And now when it comes to Kok Inu, some people, they like to comment, oh, wow, you know, it's Kaka, it's a meme coin, the use case isn't that amazing. But for the people who complain this way, I just don't get it. Think about this, right? A meme coin, it's not supposed to have the best use case out there, in my opinion. A meme coin is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be enticing. You know, it's not supposed to be the next revolutionary project, so to speak. And this is no dig on meme coins. I'm a very big fan of meme coins. But I think sometimes people, they have to understand the nature of what a meme coin is. You know, the type of people that complain that a meme coin doesn't have a strong use case is the same type of individual who buys an electric car, but then complains that they have to charge it all the time. Well, it's like, yeah, it's an electric car. You know, if they don't want to charge their car, right, then why get an electric car in the first place? At least that's the way I view it. You know, if someone is looking for strong utility with fantastic A plus fundamentals, there's other projects for that. But in my opinion, a meme coin, again, it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be exhilarating. And I think that is exactly what Cock Inu is. And when it comes to Kok Inu, I do believe that it has a lot of potential upside, hypothetically speaking, because as of right now, Kok Inu is so low in market cap to the point that if, let's say, it were to go to a $10 billion market cap during the next bull run, you know, at that point, it would be around a 77x from here, which I think is insane. And I think that, if anything, truly visualizes just how much room Kok Inu has left to grow. And now, when I say a $10 billion market cap, some people out there, they may think, wow, that's so insane. That's highly unrealistic. But think about this, right? A $10 billion market cap is actually around $30 billion less than SHIB's all-time high market cap. And SHIB, of course, is the main token of the Shiba Inu ecosystem. And also on top of that, a $10 billion market cap is around $78 billion less than Dogecoin's all-time high market cap. So really, when you think about that, is a $10 billion market cap for a meme coin on charted territory, has it ever been reached before? Yeah, it has. You know, in the past, we've seen SHIB far exceed this. We've seen Doge far exceed this as well. And again, right, this is an uncharted territory, in my opinion. And personally for me, what is my buying strategy when it comes to Kok Inu? And that is dollar cost averaging. So anytime I earn any sort of income, I set aside some for Kok Inu. I'm just focused on accumulating as much as I possibly can on a consistent basis. You know, I'm not necessarily worried about what happens to the price, you know, in the next hour, next two hours, next day. Who cares about that? I'm just focused on the next bull run. And when I say the next bull run, some people, they may think, when is the next bull run fully going to kick in, so to speak? And to answer this question, I'm going to look back in history. And historically speaking, altcoins, they usually rally in a massive way anywhere between 6 to 12 months after a Bitcoin halving event. And the Bitcoin halving event is anticipated to happen sometime around April of this year. So the next bull run, it could very well be right around the horizon. And personally speaking, I do believe that Kok Inu during the next bull run could hypothetically, again, at least go to a $10 billion market cap. And if you want to know the reasons why I think it could do that, make sure to go ahead and check out this video right here. I think it's a very fantastic video and I think you all would really love it. It's going to leave the captain and I'll catch you all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.